Hello Stoke community, welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. This tutorial is going to serve as an introduction to branching dialogue. And I have to admit, I haven't felt the most comfortable with branching dialogue as I've played around with it. Um, it's frustrated me a bit. But hopefully this introduction will help some of you out there and we'll learn it together as we go through parts two and part three. I also know that Have may be doing a tutorial on branching dialogue himself, so maybe that will help complement this tutorial. Okay, so here we go. We are in a map and I've done just a few things to the map. I've put a patient on a bed and I've put um, an NPC contact and I called her Ensign Helpless. And what I want to do is I want to talk to the contact and she's going to tell me help us uh, our doctor is dead um, and then I'll use branching dialogue to investigate the patient investigate the symptoms investigate the meds available and then to pick a medication that will cure the patient so that's what I want to do so let's go back to the editor and I really haven't set much up yet I do want to tell you though that when I first started to mess around with branching dialogue I immediately went to this dialogues tab because it's new and it's shiny and I have to say it frustrated me and I would recommend that you just avoid this tab until you feel more comfortable with branching dialogue and inner and using branching dialogue so instead of going to that tab just do things like you normally do um, so if we want to talk to a contact let's put that objective in and the mission text will be speak to ensign helpless. I'll specify the contact to use and she will say help our doctor is dead and the patient uh, Okay, I'll go back. Our doctor is dead. And the patient is dying. So then I'll click on Advanced Dialogue Editor. And that automatically takes me to this Dialogue tab. Um, let me just make this a bit larger. My first response will be what are the symptoms? And I'll add in another prompt right after that. And she will say, the patient suffers from A, B, and C. Okay, now I'll put in another prompt. Well, actually first, let me experiment here. I'm going to add three new prompts and I'm going to add three of these dialog boxes below the buttons. Okay, so in the first button, I'll be, uh, I'll say what causes, what causes, how about I just do what causes A? Can't type today. I'll control C, that. I'll control V, what causes B? and then control V again and I did this this way to illustrate something to you which is frustrating me sometimes if you edit these buttons before you edit the text that comes after they will revert to the default let's see if that happens okay so the prompt is what causes A A is caused by blah And I'll highlight that, control C, control V, change that to B, 
B is caused by blah. And then go to this one, control V, and I'll say, she'll tell me C is caused by blah. Okay, now, then I want to put in another prompt because first I investigate the symptoms, then I want to investigate what medications are available. So I'm going to put in another prompt right here, just in the middle. It doesn't really matter where in the chain you put it, but I'm going to put it in the middle. Um, and I'm going to go back up to the buttons, and my response to each of these will be, hmm, I'm just going to add two more here. Sorry guys, I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Okay, now the first button I want to say um, go back. Second button I want to say what meds do you have? And I want to repeat that for each of those. So go back, go back, go back, and highlight what medications do you have. And this is where it gets interesting because I want to I want to give the player the ability to do more research but I also want to give the player the ability to go forward and I'm going to get rid of that for the moment so if they go back then I want them to go to patient suffers from A, B, and C, therefore they have a choice to reinvestigate what causes A, what causes B, what causes C. So if they do want to go back, then, you know, you see this, this just reverted to its default text. I don't know what causes that, but it's annoying. Go back, go back, go back, okay. All right, so each of those that say go back, I am going to link it to that first prompt. This one says go back, I'll link it to that first prompt. And this one says go back, and I'll link it to the prompt also. Now if they choose what meds do you have, I want it to go to a new branch of the dialog. So I'm going to put it in the middle um, just because it'll make the arrows easier to understand. And so once I say, well, what meds do you have? She says, we have X, Y, and Z. Okay, now the other arrows, when it says, what meds do you have? I'm going to link to that prompt. And what meds do you have here? I'm going to also, if I can, link it to that prompt. Okay. So, once you investigate, or once the player investigates the symptoms, they can go back and investigate the other symptoms, but once they've fully investigated all the symptoms, they can go forward by asking what meds do you have? And she says we have X, Y, and Z. So let's create three more and I'll go ahead and put the prompts in because I think that may help it not revert to its default text. And the first prompt will say, tell me about X. The second will say, tell me about Y. And the third will say, tell me about 
z. Let's go back to the first. And she'll say x is blah blah. Control C, Control V, and Control V again. Z is blah blah. Okay, so once I do this, I can um, ask her what med she has. She tells me about the med. And again, I'll create two buttons for each one. And the first button will say, basically go back, but I'll say do more research. Let's see if this reverts again. Control C, Control V. Control V. Okay, and if they do more research, they'll need to go back to the first prompt. Do the same here. And do the same here. The other button will say, use this med. C. I'm sorry for the buzzing you hear. My computer's running hot today. Okay, so now it comes down to decision time. Use the med or do more research. Now you have three choices to make here. One is do you want it to be the right med in case you'll use the success prompt. That will move the mission on to the next objective. If you click failure, that means the player chose the wrong prompt, but it also means the entire tree disappears and they have to do it over again. So that's an option you can use as well. I think for the context of this mission, my best option is instead of making the player do it all over again, I am going to add another prompt and I'm gonna say it didn't work should we try a different med in that case I'm going to link it back but before I link it back I'm gonna make the other wrong choice link to that box. So when they make two wrong choices it goes it doesn't work should we go back. And when they do go back I'll take them back up to this box which lets them make a different choice and eventually this is the med that I want them to use the Z. And once they use that med it will um, trigger the map to go to the next objective. Okay, so that right there is my dialogue. Um, and it looks a lot more confusing than it is just because everything is linked to everything else. But let's go ahead and save this and see if it works at all. Let me just... Okay, I'll go ahead and take the gamble, see if it works. Okay, so here I am. My mission is to speak to Ensign Helpless. I'll go up to Ensign Helpless and I'll talk to her. She'll tell me, help, our doctor is dead and the patient is dying. I ask, what are the symptoms? Patient suffers from A, B, and C. What causes A? A is caused by blah. And I could move on to what meds do you have? Or I could go back. I'll go back because I don't know what causes B and C. 
what causes B? B is caused by blah blah. Go back, what causes C? C is caused by blah blah. Go back. Now one thing that I didn't do is if if they do go ahead and say, well, what meds do you have? I don't have a way for them to go back and investigate the symptoms again. I could add another button to um, let them go back, but I didn't do that. So maybe that's one thing I'll do if I chose to revise this. So once I investigate all the symptoms, I'll say, what meds do you have? She says, we have X, Y, and Z. Well, tell me about Y. She says, Y is blah, blah. Should I use this med? Um, I'll go ahead and use this med. It doesn't work. Should we try a different med? Um, okay. All right, well, tell me about Y. Y is blah, blah. Well, I made a wrong choice last time, so let's do more research. And takes me to the same screen and tell me about X, and X is blah blah. And at this point, I will have enough clues to know that X is the right medication to use. And I will say, okay, we'll use this med. And there we go, I can move on to the next objective. I could follow that with a pop-up that says, Captain, you did it, the patient's coming around, or um, can you help cure another patient in another place? Okay, so that is really my basic introduction to branching dialogue. Um, I hope that helps people. I hope it's not too confusing. Uh, in part two, I will start to get into some of the differences between using branching dialogue as talk to contact to using it as a pop-up or in creating it as a map. A map versus story. Um, I might also get into what you can do to hide buttons and to uh, incorporate triggers with branching dialogue. Okay, well thanks for watching. Um, please leave feedback on the forums or the blog and please leave requests for future tutorials. Thank you.